All right, then, guys. So it is November 11th, 2022. Oh, mad vegan day 10. And I'm in a Mediterranean mood. So I think I'm going to go to Saraga, which is an international grocery store here in Indianapolis. There's a few different locations. There's a couple big ones and a small one. The small one's right down the street from where I work, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to get some vegan Mediterranean stuff. All right, I'm at Saraga. I call this Little Saraga since it's a small one. And I'm just gonna go in and get some stuff. Came in the Mediterranean aisle and there's some falafel mix. I don't think I've ever tried this kind. So I'll go ahead and try that. And then there's some hummus. And there's the large fava beans. And there's stuffed grape leaves and leapini beans. You know what? Those are the small fava beans. I like the large ones. And it looks like here's a can of large ones, but the can's messed up. So here's a can, a smaller can of a different brand. I guess I'll get that. All right, so there is my vegan Mediterranean food haul, falafel mix, dolmas, fava beans, hummus, and lupini beans. Okay, now I'm gonna stop by Kroger. Just need to run in and grab a few things. Check it out, they got Silk Greek style yogurt, marked down to a dollar. All right, so I got some of those. And they also have some of these Kroger almond milk yogurts for 79 cents. So I'm gonna get some of those too. They got the new plant-based Babel vegan cheese. I haven't tried this yet. I think I'm gonna try it. You know, I gotta check the clearance section. Not much today. There's some day of blue cheese dressing. I think I'm gonna get some vegan ice cream for dessert. So I'm gonna get this so delicious coconut almond. Okay, so there is my Kroger haul. I like to just run into Kroger to get stuff and see what I can get marked down. Today I got a bunch of vegan yogurt marked down and got some everything burger buns. I'm gonna try some vegan cheese I've never had before. And I can't remember if I had this before, but I'm gonna try that too. Alrighty then. Okay, here's some of the products I'm gonna be using in my one meal tonight. I'm gonna to drink Kroger seltzer water. And I'm also gonna have a glass of tart cherry juice. And let's see. Salad, I got the Kroger filled greens. I'm gonna put millet flax seeds and balsamic vinegar in the salad. Also, got some exciting new information about wheat germ. I'm gonna be talking about that in a little bit. And there's a lot of stuff tonight. Falafel mix, that is the uh, main ingredient in the main course tonight. Lupini beans, the Zayad brand. I really like the Zayad brand when it comes to Mediterranean stuff. There's also some Zayad hummus. I usually get Zayad um, fava beans, but I can only find that brand in the large ones. And what else we got? Oh yeah, dolmas, grape leaves stuffed with rice. And I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna spread some of the hummus on some Ezekiel bread. And I'm gonna drizzle some cold pressed olive oil on top. And, oh, I forgot to mention the fruit. That is the, um, gonna start out with the fruit first. Pears, got some silk. Greek style yogurt alternative. Tomatoes, of course. And I think for the falafel burgers, I thought about getting pita bread, but since I'm not making the small falafel, I'm making actual burgers. I went ahead and got some everything sandwich rolls or buns as I like to call them. Everything buns. All right. Oh, and I'm going to try the new plant-based Babel cheese 
And how can I forget Zatar? Zatar is the magic ingredient that makes anything taste Mediterranean. All right, I think that's it. Oh, let me put tahini on the salad. Okay, so I'm home, and the first thing I'm going to do is get the falafel ready because you have to mix it with water and let it sit for a while. So I figure I can do that part while I'm getting everything else ready. So I've never used, I don't think I've ever used this specific brand. I usually use a very specific one, um, but every once in a while I, I like to try different brands of falafel mix. So I guess tonight I'm going to try this one. So vegetarian mix powder. Now normally falafel is usually formed into small balls or like that puck like mini patty shape but what I like to do is form them into patties and make falafel burgers so I need it like I would any other burger now this is only seven ounces I'm not sure how much this is gonna make I usually make two burgers but I might just have to make one so I'll just have to see all right gonna go ahead and get started okay so it looks like there's two packs in there it says to add one cup of water per pack, so I'm going to add two cups of water. I'm just going to stir it up. Usually with falafel mixes, it's not that liquidy at this stage. I think I added too much water, but that's what it said to add. Maybe that's why this one says to uh, let it sit for an hour. Usually it's just let it sit for a few minutes. Okay, it's been about half an hour. I'm going to go ahead and stir it. It's starting to thicken up. I noticed the package, after I poured the water in, I noticed the package says to add one small cup of water per packet. So I guess one cup didn't really mean eight ounces. I probably should have just poured a little bit in and stirred it. Um, anyway, now I know for next time. Okay, so I'm going to try to do the salad part in one take. Here we go. Salad, which is Kroger filled greens. I usually use the whole bag. Smash it down in the middle. Tonight I'm using large fava beans. And probably just use half the can. And then flax meal, aka ground flax seeds or milled flax seeds, and tonight, for the first time, I am going to put wheat germ in my salad. So, wheat germ is either the highest or one of the highest food sources of something called spermidine which is good for autophagy or autophagy which is part of the benefit of intermittent fasting which is basically when it's like repairing on a cellular level when cells repair themselves it's like uh they clean house or whatever so i am going to start putting wheat germ on the salad as well and that kind of covered it up a little bit. So, hmm, I may want to start putting the wheat germ on first, then the beans and the flax seeds. I'll figure it out. Anyway, now for some pomegranate vinegar. Try to control how much it comes out this time. And since I'm having a Mediterranean night, I'm going to go ahead and add some tahini which is sesame seed butter. So the source of fat. And there you have it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with the hummus is I'm going to toast some Ezekiel bread and I'm gonna spread the hummus on it. I'm gonna sprinkle on some zata and then some olive oil. Okay, I went ahead and toasted a couple slices of Ezekiel bread. Now I'm just gonna spread on some hummus. Okay, I got it spread on there. Now I'm just going to add the Zata seasoning, which is thyme, oregano, marjoram, sesame seeds, salt, sumac, soybean oil. 
This basically makes anything taste Mediterranean. And I'm going to sprinkle it on there pretty heavily. Okay. Next, I'm going to add some cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. Cold pressed means it's raw. I'm okay with using olive oil in its raw state in small amounts. So just kind of drizzle that on there. Ooh, that's a little bit more than I want to do. <laughs> okay. It came out of the bottle too fast. I'm going to go ahead and clean the plate up here. Okay, so I cleaned the plate off. I'm just going to sprinkle on some of this. Then put the toast back on the plate. And there you go. All right, guys, so it's been an hour and it's still pretty watery. That's not even close to looking like it should. So I have a couple options. I can either run back to Kroger and see if I can get falafel mix there, which I really don't feel like doing. If I had some chickpea flour, I could just mix that in there, but I can't find any. I thought I had some, but I guess I don't. And the third option is... I did find these um, gluten-free panko breadcrumbs in my cabinet, so I think I'm just going to pour some of these in there and hope that it mixes well. I'll just pour it all in. Whoops. <laughs> I'll just pour it all in. If this doesn't work, I'll simply go to Kroger and buy a different brand of falafel. Okay, I'm just going to mix it and see what happens. Basically, I just needed to soak up the water so I can form it into patties. All right, I'm going to see what I can do with that. And, uh, yeah, that is a no-go. Okay, I got one more thing I thought of, and that's arrowroot powder. This is basically a binder. So, going to mix that up. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't know. Still supposed to be more firm than that. Okay, so I was able to form them into patties. And I went ahead and put them in my air fryer. I got that much of the mix left. So I think what I'm going to do is try to air fry these and just see what happens. Okay, so I think I'll do 370 for 10 minutes. Okay, so I went ahead and put the rest of it in a smaller bowl. And I think what I'm going to do is just store it in my refrigerator. And then maybe tomorrow or the next day I can make actual falafel and put them, like the small ones, and put them in uh, pita bread. So just thought I'd mention that. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Wow, that really firmed up. Huh. Interesting. Maybe just a couple more minutes. I think what I'm going to do is turn it up to 400 for two minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, they kind of got darker. Oh, yeah. That's got a good give to it. So... I'd say they're done. I can't believe that worked. Okay, so there's the buns. There's the falafel burgers. Just going to put some spinach leaves down. I'm going to put the burgers on top of the spinach leaves. I think I'm going to leave this one, the one that I leave the bun off for the picture, and this one put the bun on. So I'm just going to add some tomato. Some red onion. Drizzle on some mustard. I don't like that it did that, but I like this bun better. So I'm just going to put this bun on here and leave the bun off of this one. So that'll be the one I show in the picture. Next, I'm going to put some lupini beans on the plate. I actually found out about these when I tried 
vegan keto. They are very low carb beans because they're very fibrous. And yes, they're already cooked and ready to eat right out of the jar. I'm going to add some olives to the plate. I'm going to put a couple of these peppers on there. I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic on top. And a little olive oil. I'm going to be more careful about drizzling it on this time. Alrighty then. Close up of the salad. Okay, there's a close up of the toast with hummus. Okay, so there's a close up of the main course. My one meal for tonight is seltzer water, tart cherry juice, pears, vegan cheese, dolmas, that's grape leaf stuffed with rice, salad with fava beans, milled flax seeds, wheat germ, and balsamic vinegar, hummus on toast with za'ata, sprinkled on top, and olive oil. The main course is going to be falafel burgers with lupini beans, olives, peppers, with garlic and olive oil on top. And for dessert, vegan ice cream. So it is about 7.30 p.m., and to save time on editing, I'm going to go ahead and eat the pears and salad off camera. Okay, I'm going to let that digest for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, so I ate the pears and salad, then I let it digest for 20 minutes, and now it's about a quarter after eight. I'm getting a little late start to this. I was supposed to start this part about five or six minutes ago, but I had to restart my computer, so... I have about 15 minutes left to enjoy this vegan Mediterranean feast. So um, I did just want to say real quick that I got that information about the wheat germ from Dr. Greger. So I'm going to start adding it to my salad and stuff. Um, anyway, <laughs> I am going to just get started here. So like I said, I got about 15 minutes to enjoy this. So I'm probably going to go through this pretty quick. Um, so water. Got some tart cherry juice. Mmm. That is good. Got the baby bell. Did I say babel before? <laughs> baby bell. Vegan cheese. So it comes in this green protector thing, and I guess you just peel it off. I actually never had the real kind before going vegan, so I'm not sure what to compare it to. But um, there it is, vegan baby bell cheese. Mmm. That is good. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Now for the dolmas, a.k.a. grape leaves stuffed with rice. I've already been over this in a previous video. I already gave a close-up of this. So to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, eat one. That is good. I'll save that for fast motion. Now for the toast with hummus. Mm. That is good. So it's got the hummus on it, the za'atar, 
Zaza on it, and olive oil. Mm. Oh, that is superb. The uh, fattiness of the hummus, plus the, uh, the bread, it's like hearty bread, and then the olive oil. I don't know how to, how to describe the seasoning. It just has like that Mediterranean taste to it. Okay, now for the main course. Falafel, spinach leaves, tomato, red onion, mustard on everything, buns. Here we go. That is good. Okay, I'm gonna taste the falafel by itself. I can't believe that actually came out right. Yeah, that it's help, holding together and everything. Hmm. Thanks to my skills in the kitchen, <laughs> I was able to uh, salvage this, even though it was too watery. I like the the uh, stuff on the buns, the sesame seeds, and, and all that. Not as good as the onion buns, in my opinion. The onion buns are my favorite when it comes to just regular buns. Like, I'm not talking about like keto buns or like whole wheat buns or raw vegan buns or whatever. Just regular buns. Like the onion buns are my favorite, but uh, the sesame buns are good too. Good. Take a bite of a pepper. Okay, now for the lupini beans with garlic and olive oil on top. Mmm. That is good. And an olive with garlic and olive oil on it. That is good. And um, got the silk. Greek style yogurt. Greek style basically means thick. So, like thick. Oh, yeah. That's almost like cream cheese. Okay. Vanilla coconut yogurt. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's good. That is good. And I'll go ahead and try this, the So Delicious Vegan Ice Cream. Mmm. Yep. That is also good. That is good. Wow. I could eat the whole box if I wanted to. I'm not going to. So... All right, I am running out of time. So tonight, I'm simply just going to eat what I can in fast motion, then uh, cut to the, or do the next part. So, all right, here we go. Last bite of a falafel burger. Okay, so that's it. I am full. There's no way I can eat another bite of that. I am stuffed. So a whole falafel burger, a little bit of lupini beans, a couple olives, a pepper, and still got some dolmas left. So probably just save those for leftovers.
All right, so I cut the one hour eating window a little close again tonight. I started around 7.30, 7.35-ish. I stopped around 8.30, 8.35-ish. 8 so now I'm going to fast until tomorrow night. Anyway, um, just thought I would recap my day. So, oh, mad vegan, day 10, one meal a day on a plant-based diet. Uh, this morning, the scale said 261.7. That was two pounds down from yesterday. And yesterday was three pounds down from the day before, which the day before was the one week weigh in. So I'm five pounds less than I was on the one week weigh in. And since day one, I've lost 9.9 .9 pounds. So I might as well say 10 pounds. So yeah, I've lost 10 pounds in 10 days by eating one meal a day. I've also gone down one notch on my belt. So. That's great. Um, obviously, the weight loss is going to slow down, but it's still nice to see the scale go down that fast. Anyway, um, so when I got to work at 7 a.m., I drank a bottle of kombucha, the same, or one of the uh, bottles that I bought at Fresh Time in that video, the GT's original kombucha. And I really like drinking that as an alternative to energy drinks in the morning as opposed to an afternoon pick-me-up. So I'm trying to use kombucha to keep me from reaching for an energy drink, which I haven't had in over a month. And so far it seems to be working. So it uh, gives me energy and I like the taste. It has a nice vinegary taste. And I like that it has a similar cold burn like when I drink it, similar to energy drinks. And after I drink kombucha, I don't want an energy drink anymore. So I think here in the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and allow kombucha when I want one. I eventually want to just fast on water, tea, and coffee, but I'll go ahead and allow kombucha for now when I want one. I'm not worried about it kicking me out of the fasting state or whatever. I'm actually using it to help get me through the fasting window. Um, but yeah, so... Drink a bottle of kombucha at 7 a.m. And then at 9.15, I made some black coffee using a K-cup. Around 10, I just started feeling really good. And I think that was around the time I realized I lost 10 pounds in 10 days. And I don't know if it was the kombucha and the black coffee. And today was Friday. And uh, I don't know. But I just felt really good and had a feeling of, yes, I'm going to do this OMAD thing. And I went out on my lunch break at 11 a.m. and recorded a video talking about that. And um, so I posted that as a separate video. And then, yeah, my lunch break, my 11 o'clock lunch break, felt like I got there pretty fast. Recorded and posted that video, then got back to my desk. And in the afternoon, I just listened to YouTube videos. I like to just minimize YouTube and listen to the audio while I'm working. Um, so lately I've been listening to OMAD videos, so my videos, my old videos, um, other people's videos, people that I was watching the first time I did it, new people, just trying to get lots of OMAD information in my brain and uh, reading books on it too. But yeah, at 1.30 I made ginger tea I didn't feel like I needed more caffeine, so I had um, herbal tea, caffeine-free tea, ginger tea, which is warming. Um, it was a colder day today, and intermittent fasting in general, I'm usually a little colder, and uh, had some ginger tea, so that was good. Around 2.30, I realized I need to start figuring out what I wanted to eat, and I was thinking about some of my one meals that I've had in the past when I did one meal a day. And um, I thought about falafel burgers, and then I started thinking about Mediterranean food. So I was like, how about a Mediterranean night? Because, like, last night was a Mexican night because I had the Chipotle burrito. And on day one, I had an Indian night. So I thought I'd have a Mediterranean night tonight. After work, went to Saraga, got the Mediterranean food, saw by Kroger, got some stuff, came home, made the food, ate the food. I relaxed for a little bit. It's about 10 p.m. right now, and now I'm recording this part of the video. So yeah, I'd say overall day 10 went pretty well. 
and now it's Friday night. I'm gonna get my weekend started tomorrow. So just going to keep posting the videos. So that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching.